Brownsville is one of um, the toughest neighborhoods that you can grow up in. When you face violence every day, when you walk past um, the drug addicted neighborhoods and, or walk through them, when you are in abusive situations or you witness abusive situations, that causes trauma and stress. And oftentimes in poor neighborhoods, there's not the opportunity to receive the therapeutic services that are needed to deal with those situations. And that's when you find that the students, the young people, often immerse themselves in the arts or music. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. Down by the riverside. 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 When I teach the kids, it reminds me of my upbringing. You know, music was like an escape. That was the only place that I wouldn't be able to think about everything going on outside all the tough conditions. Music was my escape. So I can be that same vessel to the kids, and that's what I love about it. Because a lot of the kids go through a lot that kids shouldn't go through. So I'm just happy that they can be in this space where they can just be themselves. Education goes through ebbs and flows in terms of money and funding and budgets and budget cuts. And whenever there's a budget cut, the first thing program to go in most schools are the arts programs. Um, and yet that is the program that will uh, really impact students the most, but it's the first to go. And it, it's my belief that the leadership of a school has to have the conviction that if anything has to go, the arts classes will be the last to go because that is the one area that will engage the students the most, that will keep them coming to school, that will heal them when they're going through the trials and tribulations of the life that they live. The Jazz at Lincoln Center program, it changes the atmosphere of the school. It elevates the culture. It just transforms the spirit. And so we love it. Zip codes do not determine giftedness. Giftedness is in every community, in every color, in every form.